Welcome back everyone. I'm Jason and you're watching Jason Jensen Trains. Today we have so much work to do. It's going to be a very fun episode. We have fascia that we're going to add to the edge of the layout. Uh, we're going to be working over in this area on a bridge and we're going to be making uh, concrete retaining walls using styrofoam. All right, well, if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel, please visit me over at Patreon at Jason Jensen Trains. All right, well, like always, we have a lot to do, so let's get to it. All right, so today we're gonna to be focusing on this corner right here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put some fascia on the edge of the layout. Then we're gonna make some concrete retaining walls to cover up the edge of this white styrofoam. And uh, I'll be using my hot wire Proxon cutter to cut some styrofoam to make those. All right, let's get started. Okay, so for our fascia, this is what we're using. So it's rough on one side and very smooth on the other side. And I believe it's an eighth of an inch thick. And I got this at Home Depot. And we'll be installing it with liquid nails and we'll also put some nails. So what I'll do is I'll put liquid nails on the end of all the two by fours and along the edge of the layout. And then I'll pre-drill my holes and put some nails, maybe three or four, maybe every other stud, uh, just enough to hold it up there. Okay, now we're gonna take some lightweight spackle and we're just gonna go over the edge so that it's a nice, smooth um, edge on it. And I should probably go get a wet paper towel to wipe this, but I'll get some on here first. All right, I'll go over this with a, a damp sponge. Make sure it's nice and clean. And then uh, we'll install this piece here. That way we can at least get working on that corner. And uh, I don't know, I may tackle the rest of it. I have enough to do it. So um, it may happen in this video. So I went ahead and cut the fascia for the front here, even though we don't have our styrofoam in here yet. I just sort of guessed on the uh, contour of the land based on this side. So my main concern was that it was the same exact height. And so now we'll get styrofoam cut and glued in place and I'll just cut it to the shape that I have on the fascia. All right, well, we have to let our blue paint dry. And while that's drying, let's start cutting some foam for our retaining walls.
It's so exciting to finally have my fascia done. Now eventually we'll have to get some black paint put on it. Okay, for our retaining walls, um, we have our styrofoam cut. We'll need to cut the length on these. And I think in the corners, or every so many feet, I want these pillars. And obviously they're not gonna be this thick. We'll cut them so that they're two or three times as thick as uh, this. But I think if we have these cut, and then have our uh, walls go in between, uh, I think that'll look nice. You know, I just can't concentrate on this. Uh, it's driving me nuts that the uh, fascia is not painted black. So <laughs> we need to stop what we're doing and get all the fascia painted black uh, before I can continue with anything. It's just driving me nuts. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's all painted black. Makes such a big difference. Let me give you a close up look. Okay, so all of our pieces are cut. Next, we'll take a X-Acto knife and carve it and put cracks and sort of bust it up a little bit, make it look really aged. Then what we have to do after we get it all glued in place, we're gonna take plaster rock castings and we're going to put a little bit of land right in front of that wall right there. Okay, so let's get these glued in place. Now I considered painting these before I put them in place, but um, you could do it either way. But I have a lot of retaining wall uh, to do, and I think I'll paint that I'll paint the walls all at once. So we won't get to painting them in this video. I think that's probably the best way to do it so that it sort of all looks the same. I want it to be even at the top. I'm not concerned about the bottom because the bottom will get covered with rocks and dirt and weeds.
Now, some of you may think, why is he using so much liquid nails? Because when I go to paint this with acrylic paint, which has water in it, I don't want these to warp or distort uh, at all. I want them to be glued solid and not lose its shape. Okay, so I've got my pillars laid out where I want them and I marked them. Now I need to take my X-Acto knife and carve some cracks into them. We'll get those glued in place and then we'll, we'll cut panels to go in between each. So I forgot to put in a little corner post. So I just cut the section out and put that post in. I'll do a little bit of carving on it too. Well, today's video did not go as planned. I had no idea that I would completely finish the fascia on the layout. I absolutely love it. It just gives it a clean, uh, museum quality look to the layout. All right, well, be sure to join me next week and we'll continue work in this corner and hopefully get our bridge put in in the next video. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And until next time, stay motivated and happy modeling, everyone.